Today I am going to be checking out the Tornado 3000 battery charger by Top Don. So uh, I've got no power where we are, so we're also incorporating the All Powers S2000 power bank. So we're going to use the power bank and the charger to recharge or get some better life into our actual battery. And this is something that if you've got a motorhome or you've got a an older vehicle or something like that and you've got no power where it is so it might be in storage we're just able to combine the two and bring our battery back to life now it's a serious bit of kit this um, I've not read the the manual yet which is normally advisable that's really the first thing that you should do but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug it in go for it and see how she performs and whether it's actually easy to use just straight out of the box got the uh, the battery fitted already to the motor and I've disconnected the the neutral cable so we've got that completely disconnected now and that'll mean that it's safe for us to actually charge the the battery up now on the motorhome without disconnecting anything else so let's get this out and see I'm presuming that we're literally just going to have a plug and then obviously our crocodile clips on the other end oh now that's nice uh, we've got a, a good length of cable on this side and then it just connects in with our little plug but we've also got a good length on the actual mains cable so sometimes we don't get a very good length of cable but we've got lots of lots of length there so um, we can position our power point outside quite comfortably um, and even put this outside where it's nice and accessible so let's set it all up uh, it is literally just plug plug in and um, plug in the other end what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the, the battery first and then we'll plug it in and power it on and see what happens okay so I've connected up the little connector and they can only go one way so you can't get that wrong crocodiles are nice sturdy crocodile clips uh, I've got this now just inside so if it rains or anything like that we're nice and protected and then we're plugged in to our all powers bank out here so we're going to turn this on we've got 83 percent battery at the moment we're going to turn our ac on so we'll hold that in so that then turns our main power on so that will give us then hopefully power to our battery so we're going to swap we need to put it onto a, a 12 volt here because we've got a 12 volt battery so I'm going to select our 12 volt 30 amp and then again we have got a 12 volt 10 amp as well so we're now come up the top here with our setting I'm going to come back onto our 12 volt I'm going to press OK because what that is basically doing now is saying that we've only got 50% charge into the battery and then it'll start coming up um, Obviously, if it needs to repair the battery, it'll light up the different types. So whether we're repairing, whether it's a lithium battery. So we can use a range of different batteries with this charger, which is really good. A lot of the battery chargers aren't really suitable for the lithium batteries at all. So pretty sure that that is, is it. So really, really nice and simple. Um, just checking we're selecting what battery it is so we can put 6 volt here we can put the 12 volt at 30 amps so that's going to give us a bit more beefy power into that battery we've got our normal 12 volt 10 amps so again different types of battery it would allow us to select the, the 12 volt and then if we've got a 24 volt battery again we'd select our 24 volt so really really nice and easy to, to run through and it's saying that we're up to a hundred there so hopefully then that is just going to 
sort out the battery for us. Let's have a look at what ampage and wattage that we're actually using. So at the moment we're using just over 100 watts, so not bad at all. Um, so it's not using a huge amount of power, so if you leave this on for an amount of time it's not going to do any real damage. And we've got about 11 hours that we can actually use our little All Powers 2000, so that's really going to give us plenty of time to get the battery charged up. So in, if, for instance, you've got your motorhome or your vehicle in storage, it's not going to cause you any issues. Um, I'd have thought a good couple of hours on this charger is going to be sufficient, so I can't see any reason that it's not going to last long enough on this all powers to keep our battery charged up and again as it puts more power into the battery and it's using less power the wattage comes down and then the amount of hours that we've got available out of our power bank so so far looking good i'm going to have a quick read of the manual just make sure that i've selected and done all the right things that i should have done because it just seems a little bit too easy and straightforward but sometimes that's perfect when they're like that. Time for the facts on the little charger. I say little, it's a bloody big, it's, a, it's, a, it's not little to be fair, it's a good beefy size. So I've just been having a quick look through the book and through the functions and as I've said previously, with our different settings, we use our mode button to go through the different settings and basically on our 12 volt 30 amp setting so what we've got on there on our normal at the moment this is going to charge 12 volt wet lead acid batteries gel batteries mf batteries cal batteries efb and agm batteries through the nine step smart charging so pretty much all the different types of batteries apart from lithium it's just going to charge in a normal nine step charging routine so it's basically going to use its smart charging technology to charge the battery through the different steps and then once it's fully charged it will then actually cut out automatically so we've not got to worry about how long it's going to take um, and whether to come and turn it off etc now roughly a 110 amp battery and just having a quick look in the in the blurb here it was saying about three hours to to actually charge it fully up now i believe um i just had a bit of an issue starting the the motorhome so which is hence why i thought well actually we're just going to put the battery onto a full charge and get it a, a good charge up so i think there might be a little bit of damage to that battery so what i'm going to actually do is i'm going to swap over to our repair mode so this is going to repair old and sulfated 12 volt batteries through small current and pulse current so basically it's just going to put a a slightly different power setting through that battery and what tends to happen is if batteries have been left to stand for a while if they've not been charged up they'll just start to sulfate up and that then is what causes the battery to, to degrade and not work as it should do. So by putting a pulse through them, you can actually repair the battery and get it desulfated as much as possible and just get the cells back working as they should do. So even though we're in the on position, we're doing as it should do, I'm going to st stop it and press the mode button and you'll notice that it stops actually making the sound and then I can come through the different settings. So we've got lithium, so if it was a lithium battery, um, we could just put that onto the lithium setting there, and then we've got our repair. I'm gonna set OK, and that then is gonna select that, and that is put now into the repair mode. And we're gonna leave that on, probably for a good couple of hours again, um, and just let that actually try and re Figure out that battery, get all the the sulphur that's on that battery out of it and just start actually repairing the, the battery up. So what we'll do is come back a little bit later and have a look how it's getting on. Um, still loads of power in our little all powers 2000 watt. little power station 
Oh, the cat's come to come to investigate and give his uh, give his seal of approval. So again, if it was the case that you've got no 230 volt, this is going to be able to power this sort of a thing, charge your battery back up, and uh, get you back up and running. So we'll come back a little bit later and see how our battery's doing. So we're back in the motorhome, and I'm going to now check our voltage and we're still up to 12.7 volts on the vehicle battery so we're still looking good uh, i'm going to turn that power supply off otherwise that's just going to keep draining our battery so let's give it a whirl and see how we go see if she will start up Whoa. so we're sort of 24 hours later now and that's really what the, the truth um, to see whether the battery's okay and see whether the charger's done what it should be doing. So, all looking good. So yeah, that uh, that little charger seems to have done the job. Um, we're going to give it a little bit more testing so there'll be some more videos coming out but that's sort of a brief overview of the charger, what it can do. The other thing that we noticed as well looking at the instructions is that you've got a 6 and a 12 volt supply on there so you can actually, if you're doing vehicle diagnostics, more so if you're a garage I think rather than your general sort of motorhomer or caravaner or car enthusiast or even i suppose if you're a car enthusiast it might be coming handy but you can literally put the that top down onto your battery and press six or 12 volt supply and that will give you a constant 12 volt or a six volt supply so if you've got the engine not running and you're trying to do diagnostics you can also use that charger for that so it just gives you a constant power supply and you've not got to worry if your battery's not actually doing what it should be doing or shouldn't be doing Another thing that we noticed in the uh, in the instructions is that if you're trying to recover a battery, they say that if it's below eight and a half volts, it's probably not going to do it. So just something to bear in mind: if you're trying to fix an old battery and it's gone below eight and a half volts, it possibly isn't going to be any good for that. You're going to need a bigger ampage. I think it's 30 amps is the maximum on that, which is the 30,000, not 3,000, which I said earlier on. So. Uh, yeah good little charger on the face of it so far so good but we are going to be doing more testing see if we can actually recover a battery um so look out for all those videos because they will come up very shortly if you've enjoyed the video hit that subscribe button and uh, give us a comment hit the like button and we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching i'm mark at the caramel place <laughs>